Hi, my name is Bill with Palangi Lures and Tackle, and today we're going to be making a tube fly hoochie. I've been noticing that, you know, when you have salmon and trout hitting your lures, that your hoochies get really beat up on the ends, if not, you know, the plastic skirts get broke off. Anyway, I come up with this new little way of making a hoochie, only using a tube fly, uh, so that when the fish hits and grabs it, it pulls the hooks away, but leaves your lure intact. So today we're going to be starting with two pink uh, Maruto sickle hooks. They're really sharp. That's the only ones I like to use, either in pink, which is UV pink, or in black. Um, secondly, we'll be using a sport fisher tube uh, for making tube flies. And then um, the skirt, uh, it's got like a little uh, holder for your 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 hooks it's a hook holder tubing and that's from hmh uh, tube fly gear i'll be using a dutch fork custom lures butterfly tahoe blade that's in uv pink and white i'll be using a glow pink and white uh, tube tube uh, hoochie that's five centimeters um, I fish, fish a little bit more up at the Flaming Gorge area, and I noticed that the bigger lures seem to get their attention more. So I've already, for the purposes of, of this video, I've already tied three pound or three feet of ten pound Maxima line on this setup with a uh, rig set for for this uh, actual lure. It's got two fluorescent pink uh, UV beads, and in the middle it has a glow-in-the-dark bead as well as the pink sickle UV hooks from Maruto. So the first thing I do is uh, to make the size fly I need or the tube I need for the uh, fly that I'm making I'm going to kind of just eyeball it but I'll save the rest of this tube for another time making another tube fly. That's what's really nice about these is you can mix and match them make big or small uh, tube flies with these things. What I do is I take the tube and it has this little extension on the back and I'll slide in some pink tubing that will hold the actual hook um, so that when the fish hit, it'll separate. You just push that up as far as you can. And then what I'll do is I'll cut the tip of the hoochie off, just that little nipple so that it exposes that hole. Then what I'll do is I will take this tube. And what's really kind of cool is when you hold a flame to it, it will make a little rim at the top of it. Can you see that? Just use an ordinary lighter and then just blowing it till it's cool. And I tap it on my vise on the little stand to kind of flatten it out. Then what I'll do is I'll take the hoochie and I will slide the tube inside. And then that hole that I made, I'll make it so that the tube comes just out the top of that hoochie. Then what I can do is take the end of my line. There's about three feet there. And I will start it at the end of the tube. Oops and push it all the way through to the top. And sometimes it can get hung up in there, so you gotta be patient, which I am never patient. But, okay, it's not gonna go. For the purposes of the video, I'm gonna pull this thing back out and not be so patient. And sometimes it gets hung up on that little channel in there. So I'll take it off. And this is another quicker way to do it if you don't want to be messing with it. It's just take the tube off. Start your line through there. And then start your line through the tube. And then go ahead and reassemble. And push it as hard as you can up to that top if you can. That way it just doesn't come apart. 
And then this time, I will just take the line You gotta have some serious patience doing this stuff. Um, and pull right through the tip of that hoochie. And once you get it up there, you can put your tube back through. So that, oh. Well, I'm not having good luck today at all. So, I put this thing back out and looks like I got one of the line or the skirts up in there is what happened. This is why these things cost a little bit when you buy them online on our stores because it takes some time to make them. People don't realize that there's a lot that goes into this. And mine are all hand tied and homemade. I mean I'm the one that come up with these little ideas. This isn't something that I got online. Um, I just find that making it this way with your hoochie. By the way, these um, beads are four millimeter. And the one at the tip on the pink one and the UV pink and uh, purple, I do a three millimeter bead. And then I feed my Dutch Fork Custom um, tip there, or the spinner blade, the Butterfly Tahoe blade at the top, and then I just curl up the, um, the line, and then it's all done. So I'm gonna put this back up in the vise so you guys can see this. So, you're fishing along, you're trolling along with your lure, all of a sudden the fish grabs the hook and your corn or your maggots, whatever you have tipped with, and they pull back and then that's what happens is your lure goes forward with the tube and you can just reuse the lure over and over again. That way it's not getting hammered by, by the fish. But at the same time, if you wanna replace your line or your hooks eventually when they get a little bit dull, you can just pull this apart, retie a setup, and then slide everything back on and you're back in action um, out on the water or, you know, if you're going to just go home and retime or whatever. But that's a, a, a tube fly hoochie and we come in pink and sparkle and clear that glows. We have a UV pink and purple. Um, we have a glowing green and yellow chartreuse uh, beads that are, are UV as well. And then the Dutch Fort custom heads on these are white and green, and they're UV. And then we have a fourth color that is chartreuse, pink, orange, green, and yellow. And they're all tied the same way with uh, just a different color tube fly. I know it seems like it's a lot of work, but it does work really good and it saves your lures from getting beat up and broke and having to buy new ones when you can just replace the, the line and your um, hooks. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope uh, you'll come and check us out at palagilures.com. It's uh, P A L A G I lures, L U R E S.com. And we will have these on the site just starting after Labor Day. Thanks again. Have a good day.